Aloha, and thank you for stopping by to learn how to make this faux turkey. That's right, this is 100% balloons and only takes six different balloons. It takes an 11 inch balloon, it takes a 321, it takes a 5 inch married with a 260, and a couple of glue dots. Let's get started. We have a balloon pump here that's a dual action. That means that it works both ways. One of the things you want to do to start this is to pull out your instructions and make sure you have everything. In your kit you will receive the balloon pump, all the balloons I described, and some glue dots. First thing you want to do is grab your 11 inch balloon and give it about 50 pumps or you can blow it up if that makes it quicker for you. Next, this is what it looks like. So you're going to want a teardrop shape. This is what it looks like after about 45 to 50 pumps. And you want just to be able to have a little bit of shape to it. And on this one I've taken a Sharpie and I've actually put a couple of X's so that I know where I'm going to be placing my two wings and my two drumettes. Okay? So the first thing in the uh, instructions it says uh, to inflate the 11 inch and then do the drumsticks. The drumsticks are made with the 5 inch balloons. The 5 inch balloons I usually put about 8 pumps in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and you have this shape right here. The reason why I like this shape is because it's got a nice little elongated portion here that marries the bone nicely. If you are first time or new to tying take the knot wrap it around your two first fingers, push it up between your two fingers and retrieve the knot of the balloon and pull through to create a closed knot. Next, you're going to take your 260 and you're going to give it to two pumps, one, two. Same thing, wrap around your fingers, push up through the center, grab the nozzle, and pull. What I like to do is I like to take and marry these two by tying them together. Okay? Now we're going to create four bubbles, two at a time. One, two, and twist. One, two, and twist. And then you should have this drumstick action right here with the bone coming out the bottom. Give it a few more inches. I like to say four or five. And now we're going to make two more bubbles. And those two bubbles get spun around and then pull and twisted. The rest of the balloon is taken and ripped off. And you are left with a drumstick. So sometimes if this happens to come undone, it would look like this. It's okay. Just take your pump. It fits right inside that nozzle. And you can blow it back up. Tying it off and making your bubbles again. And there's your two bubbles at the top. There's your four bubbles at the bottom. And that's what's going to get attached to your 11 inch balloon. Now, we are going to make the wings. The wing is made with a 321. It's the long tipped balloon. We're going to put four pumps, one, two, three, four. Tie around your fingers. And now we're going to push this air all the way up to the tip of the balloon. Okay, so once you see the tip right here, you can take all that air and push it. If you push it all the way to the end, twist the balloon several times, and this is where you can take and chop off the end to create a knot. Maybe Pinocchio knows, right? So that's the shape of it. 
you want to roll this up from the tip to the end, and we're going to push the air as we do it. And what that does is that creates a curvature. So now we have two just like that. Okay, take your scissors, cut off the excess. Everything should be nice and clean. Grab your 11 inch balloon and begin to apply your glue dot. Press down, rub the dot on the balloon and gently peel. It should come right off. If it doesn't, continue to rub. Grab a wing. Now, left and right, so you want to be sure you put these on correctly. So I have the glue dot here. I'm going to just tap it, and it sticks right to the 11-inch balloon. Okay, I'm going to take my glue dot. Put it right there. I have my other wing. Repeat. Okay. And then, same thing for the drumsticks. We're going to come in here. I made my marks easy so I don't have to do any guesswork. There's my knot. And then I like these to go out and away from the turkey. So my wing is all going one direction. These kind of go up a little bit and come in. And then you want to repeat this same thing for the other side. Looks like I use these. Okay. Oh, I found one right here. Let's finish this up. Take your other wing. Try to match it the best you can. And there you have it. Your first holiday turkey, put it in the direction that you want. Fun and delight for the whole family. Hope you get a lot of uh, kicks out of this. Fill it with anything that you want. If you're doing a gender reveal, you can put some blue confetti or some yellow confetti or some pink confetti, whatever you uh, decide. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope this has been informative. See you next time. Mahalo and aloha.